Hello and welcome back to Merlin Magic. I've got something here for you today, which I haven't done in a while, so I'm looking forward to showing you. I've not done a lot of coin magic on my um, channel. I, I Obviously, like you know, guys know, I'm a mentalist, so coin magic for me is a bit of a rarity, but I've got this really cool mentalism effect to show you with coins. So if this sounds good, uh, continue watching the video and you'll be able to learn how to do some mentalism with uh, some coins. So this is a trick you can do in the pub. If you just say to your spectator, we've got a, um, some loose change. If you've got three or four of the same coin, I'm using uh, 20p's here, here in the UK. But if um, wherever you're watching, any currency will do, as long as they're identical. And you'll see why in a minute. So I'm going to give you a performance. Then I'm going to show you how it's done. So you go up to the spectator and say, oh, you know me as a mentalist, I've done a lot of card tricks for you, but um, I wanted to do something a little bit different with you today. If you could just go into your pockets and um, see and, and see whether you've got any a three of a kind or a four of a kind of the same currency, of the same coin. They'll go and look into their pocket. They produce these th uh, 320p's and you can say to your spectator, these are your coins, they're not my coins. Um, so you can inspect them if you just to make sure that you don't think I've got any kind of uh, gimmicks to them. They'll inspect them, but they'll be they won't because obviously this has come from their pocket. So then you'll say what I'm going to do in a minute is I'm going to turn my back and I, what I want you to do is pick up a coin like so, hold on to it and put it to your head for me against your head, and I want you to try and gain a connection between uh, you and the coin. What I want you to do is kind of make an image for me, but my eyes will be not be able to see what you're doing. But I know you're going to be holding the position like this, and that is going to make it a little bit easier for me to, to determine which coin you've chosen for the brain um, processes pictures when they're just trying to put together a narrative on what's happening, pictures, is the go-to thing for your brain. That's why I'm asking you to do like a still image for me. So I'm going to go ahead now and turn my back. And you've got a free choice of any coin. As you see, all three of them are the same. There's no markings. There's no little defects for me. Obviously, they're your coins, so you'll know them. So yeah, I'm not going to influence you in any way. You can pick any coin and just place it to your forehead and just wait uh, further instructions. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, close my eyes here and I want you to pick one okay so go ahead and do that now and that watch this hold it to your head obviously I can't see and what I want you to do as you are got your coin and you're clenched in your fist I want you to imagine you sending little telepathic waves little waves from your closed fist uh, to my brain so I just want you to try and imagine if you can that happening of the little tiny waves being processed across the air and into my brain because it's going to, okay, I'm starting to feel a connection. So yeah, keep that connection. Keep doing what you're doing. I can start seem to feel something. Okay. Yeah. I think I might have a connection between us. I've got, a, yeah, I'm getting something through here. Okay. That's it. Keep sending it clear. Imagine you're painting a picture and you're using really vibrant, really clear colors like yellows and, and blues and oranges, really bright standing colours. So imagine you're painting the coin. You're painting the image of you standing there and you're using bright colours like yellows and reds. That's it. Okay, I've almost got the picture. Okay, that's brilliant. Now what I want you to do before I turn round, um, I want you to place it back in the order where it is and um, then let me know when you've done that, then I'll turn back round. Okay. That's it. So you do that there. Okay, so I'm going to turn round now. Well, obviously I had my eyes closed, but if I was doing it in front of you, I would have turned back. Now I'm just going to hover over the coins and start to get a connection. Okay, I think okay, I think it was this middle one here. I think this is the one that you held. Okay, so that is the trick. If you want to learn how it's done, then just stay for the tutorial. So this is the tutorial for this trick. If you were impressed by this trick, there, and just to let you know, there's no gimmicks. There's no peaks, any secret peaks, which will be difficult to do. It's um, an impromptu trick for beginner's mentalism. So um, if this is your first mentalism trick, this is a good one for you to start with. So as you do, basically, you kind of just do what the instructions I give you to do. That's how you perform it. 
So once the spectator's chosen, it doesn't have to be three, it can be a multitude of coins, it doesn't really make a difference at all. So once they've got that, and I always think it works better if it comes from their pocket, it just sells the fact that there's no way you could set anything up. So I think it's very important that you ask the spectator to provide. And if they obviously haven't got anything on them, but there's people around them that, who might chip in and say, okay, I've got some, then that sells it even better because it hasn't come from the magician himself. So that erases all doubt. So that's the first thing you do. And how the, the secret to this is, I know it sounds, um, might sound obvious once you know, but trust me, people will not click on because um, they just don't. This is all, it's got nothing to do with mentalism, although you sell it as a mentalism trick. This has all got to do with temperature. So as, when the spectator's chosen, so as we'll, get, we'll, step, we'll go step by step through the trick. So you're at this point and they, you've told the spectator the instruction. You said you're going to turn your back. I want you to select a coin, clench it in your fist, put it to your forehead, paint a still image in your mind so it's easier for my brain to pick up on. And obviously that's just delaying uh, the process, so you tell them to do that. So once they've done that and they clench it, like I said, it sounds obvious, but obviously your hand pr uh, produces um, warmth. You know, you, you've got a body temperature. Your skin is warm. And if you clench it, so your muscles, as you can see, my knuckles are going wire. That's because my muscles are working to keep them in place, and that requires oxygen which then obviously creates heat so all you're doing is warming up the coin in your hand so and the reason i delay it by telling them to paint an image is you need a, a certain amount of time for the coin to actually take change temperature because if you feel this coin it's, it'll be quite cold even if it's been in a pocket but the moment you place it in a fist like this and clench it you'll start to transfer body heat from your clenched fist to the uh, your clenched fist, uh, sorry, to the coin. And this takes, I, I, I'd, I'd say, um, to begin with, you want about 40 seconds to a minute of them like this um, until you can start to detect um, the heat. So you just, um, you know, create a story. You can use mine or you can come up with your own about placing it to their forehead and really ingraining the image in their minds. They, they'll do this without question. And once you've kind of, all you're doing then is counting in your head and trying to wait out a minute. So once you've done this, okay, then I want you to place the coin back down and they do that. And then you turn around and then this is where your acting skills come in. You kind of hover over them and say, okay, you gave me an image. I'm trying to start. And as you're doing it, you're slowly touching the coins and one of them will be warm. The other ones will be cold. And obviously the warm one um, will be the spectator's coin. So that is the trick. It's a quick and simple mentalism trick you can do with a coin. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you just this is your first time watching this channel, please would you just take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel because I've got loads of uh, mentalism coming your way. Um, so make sure your notification bells are on for that. And I've been Merlin Magic. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video and I'll see you next time.